Happy Halloween. It's H A, not H O. <laughs> how? Because you how? Halloween. <laughs> well, in that case, yeah. <clears throat> you looked charming. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning. I love Good you. Morning, Good morning, love everybody. You. Uh, so, you're all decked out in orange and black. Got your little Halloween ear trick, trick or treaters treat. on. Look got, at these. I got wait, oh, oh, you can't really see because of my shoes. Goofy socks. We've got little jack-o'-lanterns on. Of course, I went all out. <laughs> I think you're the grandma. Hey, <laughs> do you know how a French uh, skeleton says hello? Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, wow. <laughs> Get ready. There's probably more. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, oh goodness. my goodness. You did deck out for Halloween. I did. Holy Orange cow, you even on. did your hair. What'd you use? Scare spray? Yes. It's my favorite <laughs> bottle of potion. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. All right, boy, the board is kind of far away. Uh, I noticed the camera's a little farther away today. It's like. That's because we had a, a setting to Maybe, see. I don't know. Hopefully, you can see. Tom's got a hatchet next to him. It better be nice, huh? <laughs> I don't know if they, I don't know if they can. Skulls? I can they know. can they see the skulls behind us? Might be able to. So last Saturday <laughs> we had our guest, our yes. very special guest. If you missed last Saturday's, it would be worth it to go and check it out. Yeah. It was a great and intro. We had a very special guest with us. It was so much fun. So we want to thank you again, special guest, for joining us. <laughs> um, We're not going to say who it was. Well, it's a surprise for people that didn't see it. Okay, it's a surprise for people that didn't see it. Yeah, you can catch it on your next exit, maybe. <laughs> um, so then we had Max's last football game. <sighs> it was uh, at 1 o'clock yeah. in the afternoon, which was so nice. Yeah. It was at the high school he's going to go to next year. Yep. So that was a lot of fun, and of course, even more fun because they won twenty-four yeah. to zero. It was a good game. Yes, it was a great game. If they'd have played like that all year long, they'd be in first place. <laughs> they would have been. <laughs> they would have been. Um, I was busy making pecan pie, pecan, pecan pie. pie, and ham roll-ups. All right, here we go. Let us know. Pecan or pecan? Pecan pie, or pecan? Pie? Or is it pecan pie? Pecan pie or pecan pie? <laughs> okay? Yep. And ham roll ups, which is a little hors d'oeuvre that I make because the next day we were going to have Thanksgiving dinner at our daughter's. Yes. So that was awesome. We went and spent all day there and gorged ourselves on delicious food. And the reason we did it early is because we don't know how much longer we're going to be in Reno because the weather is going to dictate that. You know, it's supposed to be in the 40s for highs, 20s for lows, about the 5th, 6th, and 7th of November. That's kind of pushing it for us, yeah. but we'll see. We're taking it on a on a day-by-day, week-by-week weather watch right now before we start pulling out of here and heading south. Yeah, speaking of the weather, we had tons of rain, and we've been in rain before. What? We've got a video coming out, what up Wednesday, oh. this Wednesday about the rain. And what happened to us, we'll give you a sneak peek of that because that was one of the things that we did during the week. Yeah. Was We fixed. had so much rain that we got leaks. There was and we haven't had leaks. Over six inches of rain right here in this so neighborhood that we're much, staying in. So much rain. So when we got home from our daughters, it was, we had leaks that we had to... Mm-hmm. There was nothing we could do <clears throat> late at night, in the dark, in the pouring, pouring rain. So we kind of waited till the next day, and we had lots of rain overnight yeah. and early in the morning. And so I was scheduled to go stay with my mom for a couple nights, Monday night and Tuesday night. But um, I had to stay. I needed to stay home and help Tom. Um, it got sunny in the afternoon. So then we were able to dry things off and yeah. get windows patched, and it's it's mostly around the seams of our window. 
but we had one leak that was coming through the television antenna, the little button that boosts it. It was coming down through there. Boosted. And we're like, how in the heck is that happening? So when it got dry, Tom got up on the roof to look, and he says, I don't see any holes anywhere. No cracks. No hairline cracks in the dicor that's there. So I went ahead and just dicored over the top Well, of it. we discovered, because I went up there with him oh, afterwards, yeah, yeah, yeah. and after disc looking at things, there's a little rubber cap that goes over the wire to the roof and it's supposed to be your seal or your weather protection problem is how old is that cap what year is this rig yeah no five so it's <clears throat> old and dry 17 year and old cracked. cap and so that's like a ball cap i would wear a 17 year old cap so that we discovered that's where the water was getting in because when yeah. we went to go dry everything off there was water inside that little thing so we got that all dried off and just gobbed dicor all over it. We don't duck. Bombs away. And it's right there. You know, in the Snoopy Halloween, it's the Red Baron. <laughs> <laughs> we had a Red Baron flyover for Saturday Woo! coffee chat. Woo How appropriate. Thanks, guys. Um, so. Anyhow, we got those all taken So you'll care. find the rest of it out on Wednesday. Yeah. We got yeah. a video coming out on that. What up Wednesday? Check it out. It's about how we did our, fixed our leaks. Yeah, we hope. We're going to be getting maybe a little bit of rain. It might yeah. help us see if we've taken care of those. But we've been in some pretty good rains before and haven't had an issue. So. Yeah. And I'm really good at checking the seals. So. Yeah. And but we'll see. see. So despite even constantly checking to make yeah. sure that all of your seals are crack free, it can still happen. You so know, the good thing to do is to go and feel around all of your windows when it does rain like yeah. that, any of those areas. The thing that, you got to think about is, and everybody says it, you're driving down the road, your home's going through an earthquake. Yep check it after you get to wherever you're going yeah because it's bouncing around and wobbling and wiggling and yep so then um i was able to go to my mom's the next day mm -hmm. um because everything was sealed up and so i went and hung out with her for the afternoon and that night mm -hmm. and uh, i don't know what you did you've got there's four uh, days i think <laughs> i think i didn't do anything that day Probably. if i remember correctly Probably not. You're tired of climbing all. Well, I think you just double checked all yeah, of the I seals double -checked, and stuff. You know, went back yeah. and made sure everything looked good after we resealed it. But yeah. that's about it. So I came home on Wednesday morning. Mom was going to go work at my sister's, like I do, and we had Alex's baseball game that night. So it was his yeah. last baseball game. So we w were going to go to that. That's why I kind of split up my time with Mom. Um, so came home Wednesday, spent the night at home Wednesday after we went to Alex's basketball, uh, baseball game. Mm -hmm. That was his last one. Um, they yeah. lost. Yeah. But it was a fun game. Yeah, it was fun. Alex got a, he got good contact with the ball, which is good. Yeah. Yep. So a lot of the kids walk. And then the next day, you went back to your I mom's back again. back to my mom's again. That's the day that I decided, you know what? I'm going to fix the overhead lights on the truck, on yeah. Ito. You know, the, the Ford has the... Like five they're, or six. They're literally called orange lights. roof lights, you know. And we've had two or three of them that have been burnt out. So I went and I bought replacement bulbs. I had LEDs in there and they just didn't work right, so I bought replacement bulbs. Put replacement bulbs in the middle three, there's five up there, and lo and behold, the one closest to the passenger door, not the, not the end one, but the next one over, is missing a piece of metal, you know, for contact with the bulb. So you push down on the bulb, bulb lights up, take your finger off, bulb doesn't light up. So anytime that we're driving at night now, she's got to ride on the roof and hold that bulb down like that. I have to stand up in the truck and go like this. <laughs> so it got most of it fixed, but I was trying to figure out, and I'm dumb. I reached down in there with a screwdriver to try to flip it, and then I went to put the bulb back in, and the bulb didn't work. And I looked at the other bulbs, and they're all burnt out. And I walked around the truck, and all the lights were burnt out. And I went, oh, crap. 
I blew out a fuse. So I get the book out to try to find out which fuse. Can't track it down in the darn book. So I pulled out, in, under the dash, I pulled out one fuse at a time till I found the right fuse. It wasn't there, it was under the hood. I pull out all the fuses. I get to the very last fuse, it's a 15 amp. I'm like, well, this has got to be it or we're in trouble. I pull it out and it's the burnt one. Good job. So replaced job. it, all the lights work, and I went, I'm done. Not touching it again. <laughs> so. Yep, and, um, and then when I came home yesterday morning, um, you were fiddle farting around with the tire again. We're still leaking air out of one of the trailer tires. I've taken it in twice. They've dunked it. They've sprayed it. They've watched it. They put several sets of eyes on it. Even I was there when they did it. Can't find a leak. Brother-in-law Kevin thinks it might be the wheel. Maybe the wheel's leaking. You know, maybe we need a new wheel. So today I'm going to jack up the trailer, take the tire off, I'm going to spray the wheel really good, see if it's coming out of the seam on the wheel. And if it does, I'm going to have to go buy a new wheel. If it's not, I don't know what to do because it loses air over a two-week period. We, we, we run about 110 in these tires, and I had it at 109 on the 20th. Yesterday, the 29th, nine days later, it was at 75. Crazy. So I it think is, the difference in the temperature is is that's that's part of it, but not yeah. not that much. Well, no, but difference. I mean that's the, because we're, you know we're not rolling it yeah. right now, so so we'll find out. I'm going to spray the heck out of it today and see if I can find a leak. And if so, then I have to go buy a wheel. <clears throat> Hopefully, I can find a wheel in town because if you try to order them online, I, not the price, but I priced them out yesterday. They're four to six weeks before they can even ship it. And it's like, that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to get a portable air compressor to hold us over till we can get... Yeah, because so there's, there's really, there's nothing wrong with the tire. The tires are brand new, basically. They're a year old, bought them last year, and there's hardly any wear on them at all. So it's got to it's gotta be the wheel. We'll find out today. Hopefully. Hopefully. So... What was supposed to be Max's last football game last Saturday, well, they won, so they got to play another game, and it was last night at 8 o'clock. And they played Hawthorne, Nevada, yeah. Yeah. and creamed them. That poor little team. They had to travel almost three hours to get to where this football game was. They were a bunch of little guys. And they all had to play both teams. They were short-staffed. It's kind of like every restaurant these days. They yeah. had a sign on their side of the field that said, Help Wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> they yep. only had 11 all players. All little boys. So they were playing offense and defense the whole game. Yep, and they got creamed. We were so excited for them when towards the end of the game, they actually had, was it a, a punt return? No, no, it was just, just, a, just a pass, and they, they scored a, a touchdown. Way. Yeah. He had to run 50, 60 yards for that touchdown. And we were all cheering for him. <laughs> Both sides. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that poor team, we were just very happy to see that they got some points. Yeah. Um, but uh, so it was pretty fun. The last one, it was a, a thin crowd, yeah. thinner than usual. It was, it was. But um, it was also a holiday weekend here. Um, In Nevada, it's a holiday weekend. Tomorrow is Nevada Day, the day that Nevada became a state. But However, now, now the state has enacted one of those Monday holiday bills that isn't on Monday. They do it the Friday before the 31st every year. What's really weird is if the 31st falls on a Thursday, the previous Friday is considered the holiday. So anyway, it was a three-day weekend in Nevada. So a lot of people traveled. They went yeah. on a trip or they were out of town or something. So that's part of the reason even um, Alec, uh, Max's team was a little bit yeah. short. <laughs> it was kind of fun because they had the score was 40 to eight for a long time it's 40 to zero it's to nothing <laughs> and the eight is because these are little kids and if they kick a field goal they get actually two they, points. they kick an extra point the point after touchdown they get two points yeah they get two points so instead of running it in they only get one point yeah. but if they kick it they yeah. get two because they're little kids and to try and get it up over the goal post is yeah it's pretty tough for them is a extra bonus yeah. so um Towards the end of the game, 
the coach was letting the kids on Max's team play whatever position they wanted to. It's like, what position you want to play on this, this yeah. next run? Yep, so they got to kind of switch it up a little bit. Last game, they were winning, so that, that was kind of fun, too, to see the kids play in different positions. Um, so that's kind of it in a nutshell. Have, have you ever had a specific, all through your life, have you ever had a specific job around Halloween? Something that dealt with Halloween or something like that? <laughs> or is it just where you've worked, you've dressed up or gone in costume or something? No, I have not had any kind of a Halloween job. Really? I figured a lot of people did. I did one time. I was I was at a, a Dracula toy factory when I was like 19 years old. And there was only two of us on the production line. So I had to make every second count. What ever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the Monster Mash. Come on now, that was a good one. You gotta, I gotta admit, that one was a good one. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys. Hey. Hey, what? We need to talk about. Um, dum -da -dum -da -dum, dum -da -dum -da -dum. Where is the email? Uh, bonfire. Werner. Thank, Thank you, Werner. You. Bought two shirts from bonfire.com yes. slash Tom and Lori RV Life. I think he got one of these. Stop waiting, start, start living. living. Don't put it off. If you want to do the RV Life thing, don't put it off. Whatever you want to do, don't put it off. Yep. Yeah, whatever. Stop Just... waiting, start living today. Yep. Yeah, as we have sadly found out too recently, you know, people that um, we know and love, have kind of put off, oh, well, we're going to retire in, in mm -hmm. a couple years or in a few months, and they sadly don't make it until then. Yeah. So, it's so definitely. Like, don't put it off. No, do it. Find a way. One of, one, of, one of our shirts, we have long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, we have women's tees specifically. Okay. I know you're not supposed to do that anymore, but I don't care. We have a kids department too. <laughs> um, Check it out at bonfire.com slash Tom and Lori RV Life. Go buy your Tom and Lori RV Life merch today. Yeah. Stop waiting. Start living great Christmas with one of these too. shirts. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Is that it? I think so. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the family. We're glad you're along with us. Uh, as it was said, we're going to start heading south, so we'll have some more What Up Wednesday videos coming very soon. Make sure you click subscribe, clang the bell, get notified every time we put up a brand new video. Happy Nevada Day tomorrow. Happy, happy Halloween tomorrow. Halloween. Halloween. See ya. Easy. Come on, pumpkin, let's go. Let's